Now we're going to have a look at the basic syntax of Java. When it comes to Java, we have objects, we have classes, and we have methods. When it comes to objects, objects have states and behaviors. An example is a dog has states also. A dog has color, name, a breed, and it also has behaviors such as wagging its tail, barking at strangers, and even eating. An object is an instance of a class. A class can be defined as a template or blueprint that describes the behaviors or states that an object of its type supports. When it comes to methods, a method is basically a behavior. A class can contain many methods. It is in methods where the logics are written, data is manipulated, and then all the actions are executed. We also have instance variables. Each object has its unique set of instance variables. An object state is created by the values assigned to these instance variables. Let's take a look at a Java program. In this code, this prints the words hello world. So let's take a look at how to run a Java program. In this course, we will be using the IDE Eclipse, but you can also follow along with any IDE of your choice. The basic syntax. It is very important to keep in mind the following points when you're using a Java program or writing one. Java programs are case sensitive. Therefore, this means that if you have the identifier hello, which is capitalized at the H, and hello that is not capitalized, these would have different meanings in Java. We also have class names. For all class names, the first letter should be in uppercase. And here is an example with my first Java class. And you have the first letter in uppercase. We also have method names. All method names should start with a lowercase letter. If several words are used to form the name of the method, then each inner word's first letter should be uppercase. And here we have an example with my method name. When it comes to program file names, the name of the program file should match the class name exactly. Here is an example. Assume my first Java program is the class name. Therefore, when we get to naming the file, it should be saved as my first Java program. Java program processing also starts from the main method. This is a mandatory part of every Java program. And here we have another example. Thank you for watching this lecture. When you're ready, let's continue on and get further into Java. Also, be sure to try out the Java program that you've seen earlier on in this lecture for Hello World. Maybe play around with it and post in the discussions if you change it or simply tweak it a little bit. When you're done, I'll see you in the next lecture.